home today. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Hello everyone and Merry Christmas. Just out for a stroll today on the new electric dirt board. I know lots of people are asking for a update on the Lycra racer bike, but I've converted to this because it's way more fun. I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers, everyone who subscribes to my channel and helps me out. You guys let me do stuff like this and build weird creation. And uh, I hope you guys are all having a good holiday. I'm trying to focus and drive and not get hit. <laughs> I hope everyone has a good New Year's. There's going to be lots of new stuff on the channel. More updates on this creature. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone. This is hard to concentrate and, and drive and do everything. And this thing goes faster than I want it to. And it's cold. Really cold. So thanks everybody. Thanks for making my channel what it is. Keep subscribing. All you guys help, every one of you. And we'll see you in the new year. Bye. Since you can't really see anything in the video, here's just a quick overview. There's that big electric motor, it's about I think 8 or 900 uh, kV, so 800 RPM per volt, and I'm running it at 22 volts. Here's a aluminum chain ring or a, a sprocket and another sprocket I had made. Made this one on the CNC, made that one by hand, some brackets and whatnot, an old uh, box from a wallet, um, all the controllers. And I mounted everything to the back axle here, so that when you uh, when you tilt the board, the uh, whole motor assembly and everything tilts with the wheel, so it never changes anything there. Uh, these are just tires that are replaced because uh, the old ones had worn out. These are from uh, just a dolly or something. I can buy a bunch of them now, so don't run out of tires. Old dirt board. I think this is a Cricket. It's uh, it's like a youth board, so I'm gonna have to beef it up. It's kind of getting a little soft. And yeah, that's her. And everything goes through this. I have a big cable that goes up to the batteries in my pocket. Uh, which isn't really the safest way to go about this, but uh, inside here is a servo driver that drives a pulse train to run the ESC. This is just a, a BEC, because this one doesn't have one, to run all the circuitry. And then right now I just have this cobbled together with a dirty uh, watt meter that I modified to run the external um, uh, load resistor down by the motor here, so I don't have to run the big thick cable all the way up to this. So this has two mic cables, one runs a potentiometer that I just taped on the back and that controls the motor speed, which is not the most, uh, it's kind of a dead man switch, so that's really not the safest, but it's nice for cruising. And then this gives me the real time uh, watt usage and amp draw and whatnot, and I can cruise at about 6 amps at 22 volts, and full out I haven't been able to, to look. I think it spikes, uh, spikes, spikes at about a, a 60 amps or something like that, and it goes faster than I can control it with. I have to put bigger dampeners in the springs here because it's just too soft and I get speed wobbles as soon as I hit about uh, probably about, I don't know, 30, 40 kilometers, well 30 kilometers an hour I start getting pretty bad speed wobbles so that's her